Hello guys, in this video let's see about spleen and its anatomy. Spleen is a secondary lymphoid organ. The spleen is soft, highly vascular and dark purple in color. The spleen is 12 cm in length which is 5 inches, 7 cm in breadth which is 3 inches, 3 cm in thickness which is 1 inch. The weight of the spleen is approximately 150 gram which is some hours. <coughs> this measurement of spleen we say it as Harriers dictum of odd numbers of spleen 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 and 11 where 9 and 11 are related to 9th and 11th ribs. The spleen is a wedge shaped organ lying in the left hypochondrium and partly in the epigastrium. It is wedged in between the fundus of the stomach and the diaphragm. The spleen has two ends, three borders, two surfaces, two angles, hilum. The two ends are anterior or lateral end, posterior or medial end. The three borders are superior border, inferior border, intermediate border. The two surfaces are visceral surface and diaphragmatic surface. Where the visceral surface is concave and irregular, diaphragmatic surface is convex and smooth. The two angles are anterobasal angle and posterobasal angle. The anterobasal angle is the junction of superior border with the anterior end. The posterobasal angle is the junction of inferior border with the anterior end. The hilum contains splenic vessels and nerves. Then coming to the impressions present at the visceral surface of spleen for abdominal organs are gastric impression, renal impression, colic impression and pancreatic impression. Then coming to the ligaments of spleen, gastrosplenic ligament, lenorenal ligament, phrenicocolic ligament. The gastrosplenic ligament extends from the hilum of the spleen to the greater curvature of the stomach. The lenorenal ligament extends from the hilum of the spleen to the anterior surface of the left kidney. In phrenicocolic ligament, this ligament is not attached to the spleen but it supports its anterior end. Then coming to the blood supply of the spleen. The spleen is supplied mainly by the splenic artery. The tortuous splenic artery arises from the celiac trunk and runs along the upper border of the body and tail of the pancreas, to which it gives small branches. The short gastric and left gastroepibloic branches pass between the layers of gastrosplenic ligament. The main splenic artery generally divides into superior and inferior branches which in turn subdivide into several segmental branches which eventually supplies the spleen. Then coming to the venous supply. It's drained by splenic vein. The splenic vein is formed at the hilum of the spleen and it runs in a straight course behind the pancreas. It joins the superior mesenteric vein behind the neck of the pancreas to form the portal vein. Then coming to the nerve supply. The spleen is supplied by the sympathetic fibers which are derived from the celiac plexus. They are vasomotor in nature. Then coming to the histologic section of spleen. The splenic pulp has red pulp and white pulp. The white pulp lies in the center surrounding the central artery. It is made up of lymphatic nodules with the germinal centers and periarterial lymphatic sheaths with a network of lymphocytes and macrophages. And they are also involved in active immune response. The white pulp is surrounded by marginal zone. The marginal zone contains the marginal sinus, which filters the material from the white pulp. The marginal zone separates the white pulp from the red pulp. The red pulp is composed of sinuses, splenic cords, which are also called as cords of Billroth. The artery gives rise to reticular branches, which opens into cords and sinuses, wherein particles are phagocytosed. Two types of circulation can be seen in the spleen. In open circulation, the blood empties from the sheathed capillaries into the splenic cords and then enter the sinuses through the slits in the wall. In closed circulation, through the spleen, the blood empties from the vessels of the white pulp into sheathed capillaries in red pulp and then directly to the sinuses. This blood circulating through these cords and sinuses forms the open circulation and the blood Entering the white pulp and not entering cords and sinuses forms the closed circulation. 
then coming to the functions of spleen spleen has got two group of functions cellular function immunologic function coming to cellular function it involves pitting and cooling removal of non deformable intracellular substances from deformable cells is called pitting Haines bodies or Howell Jolly bodies, Papenhemus siderotic bodies are removed by this method from red blood cells. Post splenectomy patients will show these bodies in the RBCs in peripheral smear. In spleen and cooling, these bodies will be absent even after splenectomy. Then coming to cooling, removal of aged or abnormal red cells is done by a process of cooling. RBCs which lose osmotic balance and membrane integrity is called as non deformable and they are removed by this method. Then coming to platelets. Normally spleen is a reservoir for platelets. One third of total platelet mass is present in the spleen. Then coming to immunologic functions. It includes synthesis of antibody, formation of lymphocytes, production of tepsin, opsonins, properdin and interferons. Then coming to clinical importance of spleen. Spleen is generally not palpable. It should be enlarged 2 to 3 times of its size to be palpable. Splenomegaly, which means enlarged spleen. Asplenia, where spleen is not present. Hyposplenia, reduced splenic function.